Britt, Josh Brown, Town Post Network, Fishers Magazine. Back doing another dash cam video today. So if you're just tuning in on our Facebook page, um, I guess we are live in the truck. The old Ed Martin Durango is headed up to uh, Harley Davidson, Indianapolis. We're going to ride some hogs today. <laughs> it's a nice day to do it. <laughs> yeah, the weather's beautiful. So we're coming off of, um, both Josh and I came off of a one week vacation. So I had my vacation two weeks ago and Memorial Day weekend and that whole week. And Josh, you were down in Destin, Florida. I was in Hilton Head. We're all refreshed. Oh yeah, relaxed. You, you can't tell, we have a little bit of a tan still, I guess. Oh yeah. Kind nice of weather down there. It's beautiful weather this time of year. And for those of you that are, that are wondering or were asking about, um, about COVID and the implications of that. I, I know in Hilton Head, um, I think they were at 50% capacity on their restaurants, six foot tables, uh, spacing. They had um, uh, only eight people per table and we had nine, so we had to break up in tables a lot. But I know um, the restaurants were like dead. I mean, we, we got a table everywhere we went and because nobody was out still. Right. And thank God we actually ate back at our house we had uh, for the most most of the time but how what was it like in Dustin was it like that as well down in Florida yeah yeah I mean everything's 50% capacity like you said it's kind of the best time to go to a restaurant right now especially if you have kids right. there's not as many people in there to disrupt right. but, um, but yeah a lot of a lot of restaurants down there were still doing um, carry out and take out so mm -hmm. we, did, we did a lot of that a lot of the shops you still had to wear masks to come in mm -hmm. only allowing 10 people at a time things like that so it's definitely still, um, you know, aware of it, I think, down there, but, I mean, the beach was still pretty crowded. <laughs> have, now, have you been out to eat that much here in Fishers uh, since we, you got back? Not a ton. Not a ton. We, um, we've gone and gotten ice cream from a couple of places, of course, that have been open, but mm -hmm. we did go to Fort Array the week they opened back up, um, sat outside on the patio, and it was, it was gorgeous. It was, yeah. again, nice. It wasn't packed. Yeah. I told Crystal, you know, it's kind of nice be able to hear yourself talk i mean i love four day ray but it's usually so packed i know and, you know the live music and everything sometimes it's not the best restaurant to sit and talk at but it was yeah. uh it was really nice we went to genie i went to 1933 lounge which is we just came from the parking lot looking at the the murals over in the yard just now yeah. but uh 1933 was was wonderful now they were busy all the tables were full but there was half as many tables and the right. bar was closed so it actually made for a nice quiet evening out i mean to your yeah. point it's it's kind of the the best time to go out to eat right now oh, yeah. um, because the spacing for one and two the crowds just aren't there we we went to uh, murphy's pub house last night so thank you ryan stonebreaker for um for a beautiful dinner last night but um even Murphy's, it was busy, right? The tables are full, but they're so spaced out that it doesn't seem busy. Yeah. And it actually made it really nice. But now we're coming up now on the 37 corridor. Now, Stay Road 37, for those of you who are just tuning in for the first time, Stay Road 37 is um, a construction zone of sorts right now. They're doing a road improvement project that um, is gonna make 37 like killer. It's gonna make it nonstop, north and south. There'll be some roundabouts put in that go over the top of 37. Um, the first intersection was 126th and State Road 37. That is still under construction now. And they expect to have that done by the end of summer, sometime this fall. And if you, if you guys have been by here, um, it's kind of spooky if you look to the west of 37. It's like this huge hole that goes down. But that's actually where the road's going to go when they get that overpass done. So it's really kind of slick. And we're going to Harley Davidson of Indianapolis because they are basically the gateway to State Road 37 corridor, the 37 Thrives corridor. And uh, it's also been open for a couple of years. We have I've never been here before. Yeah, I've been in here once. We had them on the cover of Fisher's Magazine a couple of years ago, and it's a it's a really cool facility, really nice. They've got kind of their parking lot set up out here. They do the the training school uh, for I guess newer people that are getting getting a Harley. Yeah. To do a rider school, so yeah, but yeah, it really is kind of. I mean, the first business you see as you come down 37 Thrives or 37 uh, State Road here, and yeah, it's it's, it's really one. it's really nice. And just keep in mind, everybody, as you guys are coming down State Road 37, this is the first phase of it. 
They're only doing one major intersection at a time so they don't cause too much confusion and too much traffic issues. The State Road 37 will never close, point number one. Point number two, um, there will, they'll always have lanes open. So even if they jog you over a lane or two, they're always gonna be open on State Road 37. So never, don't disregard this whole area because you think it's under construction. Oh my God, I can't get in. Right. State Road 37 will never close. Honest engines, it will never happen. Um, but um, we're just pulling up here on Harley Davidson. We're gonna meet with Adam Smith. He's the GM here. And uh, we're gonna get a little tour of the facility and um, find out what this company is all about. I think if you don't know who Harley Davidson is, you're living under a rock <laughs> because it's the most popular brand in the world. Um, and they've got a little driving school going on out here. Oh yeah. So we're gonna talk with uh, Adam and find out what's going on here and get a little tour of the place. And uh, I, I did ask, um, I got de declined, but I was gonna try to get <laughs> A ride on a Harley or maybe uh, side car. get a sidecar <laughs> and go for a ride down State Road 37 but that kind of got vetoed so got nixed. <laughs> it got nixed oh look at that uh, was that progressive or that what that Liberty insurance commercial with the ostrich in the sidecar um, but no we're gonna go in here and check it out um, Josh will put this thing on pause for a few minutes we'll take the audio down so we can get set back up but Stay tuned, we'll be back probably in about five or 10 minutes. We'll start the grand tour of Harley Davidson of Indy. Okay, so we are back live, uh, Tom Britt with Adam Smith, who's the general manager here at Harley Davidson of Indianapolis. Um, Adam, first of all, thanks for having us. Glad you guys could be here. Always glad yeah. you guys, people take time out of their schedule to uh, do a little interview with us. But, you know, State Road 37, you guys are, are now the de facto gateway to going north on 37. <laughs> That's right. Um, you've been here a couple of years. Uh, you moved from like a 96 location here. What's, what's the response been to Harley Davidson of Indianapolis moving up here to yeah. Fishers? Yeah, man, wonderful response. Um, as far as the traffic, I mean, just on a daily basis, get to see just multiple people coming in, um, starting to see some of those familiar faces. And, and I know that it was kind of a little bit a little different from moving from the 96 over here and people are kind of wondering well, where did we go but yeah. we're here we're, we're right off 37 and uh the traffic has just been amazing so good good welcoming of being up here in fishers and your your facility yep. is freaking awesome <laughs> oh, thank um, you i've been by here a million times I have to be honest i have not been in here i know it's hard to believe i'm not a harley rider um i did get a fake tattoo of hilton <laughs> head but uh, that's another story but um 35,000 square feet or so? Yes. What, what, else, what else do you have here? I know the showroom, which you can see over our shoulder, yep. but what else is yep. here? So, I mean, there's there, we have tons to offer here. I mean, from all of our brand new motorcycles on the showroom floor to genuine uh, merchandise that's uh, through Harley-Davidson, licensed parts and accessories to uh, upgrade your motorcycle, full operation of service department. Uh, we also have a, a dyno machine here that where we can actually do performance work on your motorcycle. Wow. Um, Gosh, we also have a thousand uh, square foot multi-purpose room that we hold all sorts of events. We've done motivational speakers there. We uh, do it for our Chris for our, Farley. From, yeah, not Chris Farley, but, but <laughs> something close. <laughs> something to that. close. Um, uh, for our hog chapter, I mean, we have uh, for our riding academy all that multi-purpose room space is, is for that. So yeah, just it, tons to offer. It, it's amazing in here. I mean, you've got. Um, we're going to get a tour here in a few minutes of, of what what all's back here. But there's actually a little room in the back with a, a bar and like a patio and yep. fire pits. Fire pits, a uh, little cafe bar area. Just uh, you know, kind of what the whole purpose of this is is for when our customers come, just a just a comfortable space to come hang out, enjoy the facilities, and just just hang out with us. And to talk about the Harley Davidson brand because it is the most popular brand I think in the world. Yes. And your merchandising has to be doing fairly well as a result of that. Um, what's that brand? mean and, and, and what exactly when they say I'm a Harley person or I'm a hog what's yeah. that mean yeah freedom freedom yeah, bar and shield man I mean it's it's one of the most iconic symbols that's out there in this world right now and uh, I think other than mom Harley Davidson bar and shield is the most uh, <laughs> uh, tattooed thing on, on some oh, really? so yeah but no it, it's a sign of freedom and it's uh, just an opportunity for people to Again, and it's not just about riding motorcycles. That's what yeah. we love about it, right? But I mean, there's just so much more that Harley has to offer. That's from the style of clothes to just really the camaraderie of just what Harley Davidson brings together for the people. 
and that makes sense why you have all this common space for people to come and gather because I'm, they probably just come here and hang out on just Friday nights, don't yeah. they? Friday evenings, uh, you know, we're going to get back into uh, actually yeah. having events and uh, having just some fun things doing going on here at the dealership. But, you know, Friday afternoons, Saturdays, uh, we're going to be putting together some happy hours. And again, just reasons for people to come utilize the space that we have here and just come make some new friends with us. So uh, uh, I was talking with Connor, your, one of your marketing yeah. guys here, um, about your writing academy. So um, that was kind of news to me. I guess if people have never ridden a motorcycle before, but they want to get into this freedom lifestyle that you talk so, about, uh, maybe they've got the tattoo already, but yeah. don't have the bike. In my case, I had a hummingbird tattoo, but it's already <laughs> washed off. But um, talk about the academy and for people coming in that maybe just want to be introduced to this lifestyle. How'd that work? Yeah. So it's such a great thing that we offer here. I mean, you know, for, I remember, um, and just talking to people, right, there's there's a dream of actually getting to ride a motorcycle. And for individuals who have just thought that they would want to ride a motorcycle, we actually offer the class here to get you started. Um, and, it, and it starts you from, if you don't even know what a motorcycle is, to actually getting on a bike and actually operating one. But uh, it's a three-day class. Um, we, we run weekday classes and weekend classes. Uh, and I mean, it's a start to finish kind of operation. They, they walk you through the whole motorcycle, uh, how it operates, and then actually getting how to ride, ride a bike. So, so you're ready to take the test and get your... Yeah, so from here, I mean, it's like I said, three days, we'll offer the motorcycle, uh, but you, you will leave here um, certified. Uh, with, we do the written test and we do the riding test here. Next step is just going to the DMV and actually getting your new picture taken on your driver's license and you're ready to rock and roll. That's really cool. I, I've seen some people, actually, there's people out there right yeah, now right riding now. around in the parking lot. Yep. Um, and I also saw in the back, there's a there's a trailer in the back yeah. with a motorcycle. What, yeah. What's that all yeah. about? So that is that is our jump start. That is a, a very unique uh, tool that we get to use here. So, you know, individuals, again, who says, man, I, I would love to ride a motorcycle, but I'm, I just don't know where to start, right? So this is an opportunity that we can get you on a bike. Uh, it's a stationary, um, it's called a jump start, it's stationary, we put the bike on there and the, the wheel actually rolls, it helps you understand where the friction point is on that clutch and actually how to shift gear. So I mean, you can actually ride a motorcycle being stationary on the trailer, don't have to worry about falling over or doing anything like that. It's so, almost like being in a movie prop. Kind of kinda like a movie prop. Yeah, you actually we, pull them around when they do that? Or no, they no, no, just no, no, they okay. just sit right there. Yeah, okay. yeah. We, can pull really some, cool. we can pull some fans out and get some wind in there. <laughs> Stuff. It'd be cool if you like, pulled them around the 37 <laughs> and actually were up on this Harley, shifting gears but not having any control over it. That'd be kind of cool. Might be something to think about. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should introduce that to Harley nationally and tell them all about that. Well, um, you know, I, the other thing I have to talk about is just the, you guys do a lot of charity work here too. A lot of yes. charity things come in here. Um, the Humane Society was here a while back and hosting some events. Talk about just what you've done in the community beyond selling motorcycles and teaching people how to ride. What you're doing in the community. Yeah, so, you know, community outreach uh, has been a big thing for Harley-Davidson of Indianapolis. So, reaching out with the Patichu Foundation, partnering with them, um, the Humane Society, I mean, just anything that we can do to kind of open open hands and help help out our fellow community um, businesses and just things that we can do to help the families here in the community. So, that's awesome. So, yeah. so if people have charity things happening and they want to come maybe with some space Absolutely. or or whatever, um, and what, when did the rides start back up? Because I know everybody's kind of itching to get back on these rides. Yeah, you know? so so first ride uh, that I'd say that we're going to be put together is going to be July 21st, and that's going to be our Russ, I'm sorry, July 25th, our Russ Dellen uh, Memorial Ride. Uh, okay. That'll be the first big event for, the, for this year, and it's a huge ride. Um, very fun, very, I mean, my gosh, hundreds of motorcycles will yeah. come. So any questions about that, feel free to give, of course, myself a call or Connor, our uh, marketing Director of and Russ, Russ was the original That's right. owner of Harley yeah. Davidson. Yeah. Russ was, right. yeah. So Ru our current owner, uh, David, and then his mother, uh, Donna, Russ was uh, David's, uh, David's dad. Uh, yeah. but, uh, he started this deal back in 1978, and uh, just from where we've grown from then to now is just uh, just wonderful. I, I think Russ is uh, would be looking down and be very proud of what uh, David and, and Donna uh, and the Dellas have, have done. With oh, this great, area. great. Yeah. Well. I tell you what we're going to do. Let's, let's uh, put the graphic up, Josh, real quick. We're going to move the camera for a second, and we're going to have Adam give us a quick tour of the place. So stay tuned. We're going to get a, a little bird's eye view of here of what Harley Davidson in Indianapolis has to offer. So we're ready. So um, 
I'm just gonna carry this. Okay. Alright, so we're back. Yes, the camera does work. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're back. Alright, so this is our old entourage today. Yeah. Um, okay, so Adam, give us a quick tour. Now, okay. I have to ask you about this motorcycle back here, though. There's an electric motorcycle I, I didn't and, want to pass up. And that's where I got to start. Okay, I start there. Start. So, this is probably one of the coolest, um, exhilarating motorcycles right now that Harley Davidson has to offer. This is uh, Harley Davidson's first electric, uh, this is a live wire motorcycle. Uh, the thing is, of course, fully, fully electric. Uh, wow. So much fun. So, uh, these things right here, guys, I mean, if you're looking for hair standing up on your arms, some goosebumps, this is the thing that you got to get on and actually just feel the power of this thing. I mean, zero to 60, uh, under three seconds, this thing is a, is a rocket Lord. ship. Yeah. So does it still have the rumble of a Harley Davidson or not? So it does not have the rumble on oh. it. It is, it is uh, something that is just completely unique. Um, yeah. But with these, we offer test rides. So anybody who actually would, would like an opportunity to ride one of these things, we're inviting you down. Come ride these things. Check them out. All right. I'll have to go through the school <laughs> so I can come ride one of these dang things. <laughs> That's too cool. But, yeah, when you're walking in, guys, I mean, we'll have all of our – these are all of our Sportster models. Um, really, really neat, nice uh, things. we got some of our older bikes over here just, just yeah. to look at, just to come check out. Um, but when you look here at our showroom floor, I mean, this is full of just brand new motorcycles um, ready to help fulfill any dreams that you guys are desiring. Um, getting over into our merchandise. So, I mean, all of this is genuine Harley Davidson product. Um, great styles, great selection uh, of just everything. And I mean, we offer everything from shirts to jeans to socks to helmets to boots wow. to gloves. I mean, your entire riding gear of what you're what you're looking for we have to offer so you. how much how much of your foot traffic coming in just coming in to buy stuff versus motorcycles so and you I have a lot of people I, coming in just yeah, buying have a clothes ton of people just just buying buying clothes and i don't know the exact um, uh, percentage on this but majority of harley davidson's customers their first purchase in a harley davidson dealership is a t-shirt <laughs> it's a poker chip right it's somebody yeah. that you know hey my dad used to ride or my dad rides or my uncle or i'm grabbing this poker chip and you know just yeah. having the opportunity to get them in here that first time to get that t-shirt can ultimately turn into yeah you know who knows what it could turn into right well, a new you, motorcycle or you could be like uh, evil knievel this throwback yeah, t-shirt and start jumping buses for a living <laughs> I, I got to show you this uh, for right for for the for the little ones who are getting ready to be our future um, you know future members of Harley Davidson. We offer these e-bikes. This is a, an Iron E, so this is an electric uh, electric bicycle as well. Oh these wow! These things uh, top up at 12 miles per hour, <laughs> so uh, something that would be fun for, for do, anybody. Do they have the rumble too? Or they no? don't have no the rumble, rumble either. Oh, but, shoot. Uh, we, I, we're, yeah. we're working on like a sound machine that we can put on there. To, <laughs> To, to throw something I'm sure out. it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Harley thinks of everything. Keychains, glasses, yeah, key chains, belts. Bells, belts. When we get over into this area, this is what we'll call our licensed product. Now, the okay. unique thing or cool thing about licensed is I got to just show it is anything that's licensed is going to have the Harley Davidson gotcha. of Indianapolis, gotcha. uh, something on the back uh, that's saying HD of Indy. Um, but all this stuff is that's all licensed product that'll actually have our, our names on it. We get into here, we got some more helmets, more footwear, but just just tons of tons of stuff. We look over at this wall. Um, when you start talking about collectibles, you start talking about posters and, oh, yeah. and glassware and you know, is down to light switch covers. I mean, <laughs> you know, anything and everything. Uh, Harley has to offer, and, and we have it here at this beautiful facility. And this little decanter would be yep. a bad collection decanter, right? item Pretty for. <laughs> yeah, very cool. So where are you taking us now? What's so check this? this out. This is the cafe slash bar. Okay. okay. Uh, and just so we can kind of get a full ambiance here, but garage door opens. We'll have TVs. This is where we can have, you know, Saturday afternoon gatherings, uh, happy hours. Uh, but you know, all this. Um, just it's just again we'll, we'll pull out these tables we'll put chairs out here it's just a place for people to come hang out and enjoy with us yeah. and, you know it's easy as, as you know garage doors opening coming out here to our patio um you know when we start getting our events going back together we're going to be we'll have bands out here so just saturday afternoon come listen to the music have a have a beverage be 
set by the fire pits that we have out here yeah. uh, on the days that it gets a little bit warmer we can turn the fans on or whatnot but wow. as far as the omniance and just uh just something that we have to offer here at HDFN. It's really cool. And a nice little uh, throwback to 37 over our shoulder, right too. <laughs> <laughs> we told you, uh, right here at the gateway, look at that. You can see the uh, the fencing for Ikea, or for uh, Top Golf, right over the hill there, and the flags all coming down. Excavator. Yeah, excavator. <laughs> yeah. This is really cool space. Last and this thing is that I trailer see, this thing? This is that trailer, yeah. This yeah. is the jump start. So. So maybe for how, how if you didn't understand, I mean this is this is a stationary. This thing is not going anywhere. These bikes are locked in, uh, so you're able to actually get up on the motorcycle, turn it on. There's rollers right there, so the wheels will do a full spin, uh, able to shift, feel that friction point, and actually get the feel of, of how to operate a motorcycle without having without killing anybody. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, and. And the neat thing also about this is once we start getting into events again, this trailer, we can take this anywhere. So, I mean, we've we've taken it to um, to Fisher's Park when we did a event out there and actually have, you know, have people have an opportunity to ride this thing. So, really, really neat. Really cool. Yeah. So, so you can you can pull it if you need it. Yeah, to, we right? can pull it. We can move it wherever we need to go. <laughs> um, take it all over the place. So. All right. Well, guys, that's a tour of Harley Davidson of Indianapolis. Josh has got the camera again, but uh, Adam, thanks so much. I'll give you the elbow, elbow bump since right. we're in the COVID-19 right. still. Phase four opens up tomorrow, so we're in better shape tomorrow. Yes. But uh, best of luck to you, and Thank you guys got to come over here and see this. If you have a birthday party coming up or an event for your family or your a corporate thing you want to do, it's just somewhere different, you got to check this place out upstairs and down here. It's unbelievable space. It's not that expensive. And uh, plus you have that whole ambiance of freedom. That's right, freedom. So who wouldn't want that, right? Yeah. Yep. All right, you guys, until next time, remember, 37 never will close. It will always <laughs> be open. It's never going to close. It may be rerouted a bit, but yep. it's never going to close. And check out 37thrives.com for updates. Also text the word 37thrives to 41411 to get text updates throughout the next couple of years as this construction project gets completed. And uh, Adam... Thanks again, and we'll be, uh, check us out later on Facebook. Look for our next dash cam on 37 Thrives and uh, hashtag 37 Thrives. Thanks, everybody. Until next time. Thank you.